Reno Omokri finds out where Buhari is living in London. Plans to do this. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. It's so good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you. We do not take your support for granted. Yes, guys, as always, we're back again. And yes, we've got you covered with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. This one is coming from Renault Mokri, former aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan. He's just discovered where President Mohamed Buhari is um, residing, where he's putting up and where he's staying in the United Kingdom in London. And he has planned to do this. Very interesting. We'll bring you all of the details, what he has um, stated that he was going to do. Let's record that um, um, just on the day that um, Buhari was heading for the United Kingdom. Omayele Showere um, also urged Nigerians living in the United Kingdom to locate the hospital where Buhari is and make sure they are all outside. They go to um, even Abuja House in London and make sure they occupy the whole premises. Let the whole world know that um, the president is incompetent. There is no hospital even in his country for him to undertake just a med checkup. He had to travel abroad. So um, everyone has frowned frowned against this journey this trip because it if you know how much it will cost even just um the jet traveling to the uk with a private jet you pack the jet somewhere the jet is not going to be hanging in space you pack it somewhere and then um, there is a fee for that per day you don't want to believe how much that was one of the things um that atiku abubakar was speaking against that uh, president Mohammed buhari is spending so much those monies they can be diverted to other areas in the country and make life better for the average Nigerians, but um, he's still on the path that he is now. Reno Mokri is not joking right now. He has just um, discovered where President Mohamed Buhari is living in the United Kingdom, and he has vowed to do this. We'll bring you all of those details shortly. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Press on that bell as well. Press on the notification bell. Thank you. The former aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan Reno Mokri has taken to his Twitter page to announce that he has gotten the address of the place where President Buhari is staying in the United Kingdom. He also reveals what he will do to the president tomorrow morning. President Buhari left Nigeria to meet his medical doctor in the United Kingdom for his routine medical checkup. Since the president had left the country for his treatment in London, many people, including Reno Mokri, activists, Renu, Dino Melaye, and others have been criticizing the president that he did not develop the healthcare sector in the country, but he's traveling to a foreign country to enjoy the benefit of their good governance and administration. However, Reno Mokri claims he has gotten the address of the place where the president is residing in London and is planning to visit the place tomorrow as early as possible and start a protest to evict the president out of the country. He releases the address on his page and urge other people who believe in his movement that they should storm the place tomorrow to harass the president back to his country. Reno Mokri says that his flight will land very early tomorrow and from the airport he's going straight to where the president is residing in London. He says that he will not allow the president to enjoy the benefits of the good governance in a foreign country when his own country, Nigeria, is not well governed. He says that he would not allow him to enjoy peace in London. He said he's willing to travel all the way to London, irrespective of the coronavirus, just to harass the president out of the country. He even says that he will refund anyone back their ticket money when they arrive at the venue. This one is very, uh, is very, very serious. And these are the kind of things that we need. President Mohamed Buhari, um, he needs this kind of things. You know, Arendo Mokri, he wears, a, he always wears a hat, and that hat is written Buhari's torment. So there was one time he was calling on Nigerians that anyone who is ready to wear that hat, he would do something for the person. But you know, people stated that um, if I come over to wherever you are to come and join you, I will put on the hat there, but not, uh, not in this country where we are, you know, the way things are done here. But right now, guys, uh, Reno Mokri has just um, stated that he has found the location where Buhari is living. I know this will be putting panic right now within the All Progressive Congress. Um, you know, earlier on in the day, APC, they were so... They were so happy that they got a report from um, the APC chapter in the United Kingdom that Buhari is safe, that there's no protest around him. 
that all of those reports going around that um, Nigerians in the UK are protesting against Buhari, that there's nothing of such. They have not seen anything coming. Rena Mokri have just stated right now that tomorrow morning, first thing that he's landing in the United Kingdom, and he's also calling on uh, Nigerians as well to join him. He has promised that whoever comes along, he's ready to refund them their flight that they should send Buhari packing. It's such a shame. We know this is it's not a coincidence. This is happening at a time also when the United States, you know, it was earlier on today that the United States of America gave a report on President Buhari's administration. You can imagine what will be in that report. Nothing good. No good words in that report. His administration is terrible. Very terrible. I believe they will be wondering that how come these people are still living this way? No one is speaking. No, he cannot be impeached. Nothing can be done. The, the Senate, all of them, they can't even cough. They can't even speak against anything he does. Even this trip, they can't even say anything. And the U.S., they stated that Warris administration is filled with corruption, corrupt practices, and um, also the, uh, the harassment of innocent citizens the mistreatment and all of um, the, the killings going on under Buhari's administration and he's not doing anything. So all of those reports came today. I believe he will be hiding his face wherever he is now in shame. Uh, tomorrow is going to be tough. I can't wait to, to hear how it will all play out. I can't really wait. But anyway, that's what Reno Mokri has just disclosed right now. And let's um, believe that he's going to do what he has said. Because he stated that his flight is going to arrive in the morning. That... Um, um, he's ready to beat the coronavirus. You know, there are restrictions right now, but he's ready to um, still um, embark on the journey, all for the betterment of the country. Now, I cannot imagine that. Uh, it's, it's very correct. He's correct. It's unbelievable that Buhari wants to go and relax somewhere and enjoy their medical facility. Those medical facilities, did they drop from heaven? So, some persons are making them work. The, those things are being serviced regularly. You know, from transfer of power, um, the current um, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom right now is Boris Johnson. Before Boris Johnson, he used to be Theresa May. Before Theresa May, he used to be David Cameron. So you can see the journey so far. These guys have maintained their healthcare sector over there, the NHS. They've maintained it very well. Abu Hari is just going there. He wants to go and relax and enjoy their healthcare when his own. He didn't put any value to it. I you know what Gabashehu said today that uh, when he started attacking those criticizing President Mohamed Buhari, that even before Buhari became president, he's been traveling abroad for, um, he's been going for medical checkup. Well done, sir. Even if he's been going for medical checkup, that will give him enough reason that what he has seen over there, he should replicate it. That same standard, he should replicate it. And um, equip all the hospitals rather than wasting money and them, um, all of his uh, ministers and them, um, all the federal agencies being um, caught up in in corruption when we talk about corruption guys just know that it's money money we're talking about money that is meant to be used for um the the progress the development of the country that is what some people are just putting in their own pockets well guys this one is from Renault mockery he has decided and um, what he's going to do to buhari tomorrow morning drop us your take down below in the comment section thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye